This is one of the great Marlborough Castle. Let's have a quick glance at this massive building both from outside and inside. The video offers a very fast tour with some facts, advice for visitors and stunning views. So let's begin. This medieval monster was built in the 13th century by the Teutonic Order in Poland, not far away from the Baltic Sea. The castle is divided into three parts – High Castle, Middle Castle and the Outer Bailey. For Middle and High parts, you will have to buy a ticket and pass the control point near the gatehouse. There is just one entrance to the castle. Please remember that the big parking lot in front of the ticket office is quite pricey. There are several parking lots across the Nogat River, but they are also not very cheap. It takes several hours for a regular visit. Castle is full of steps, corridors and randomly placed exhibitions. There are no detailed route map at the information desk or in souvenir shops. I bought a little guide book, but it didn't help a lot. The visit was kind of messy. I found it quite difficult to navigate. Yeah, there are many bored ladies in white who may help, especially if you can speak Polish. But overall, it's easy to get a feeling that you have missed something. In fact, I actually did miss. But I was really busy pressing the record button. It's not a bad idea to stick to some guided group or constantly take a glance where they are going. Occupying an area of 21 hectares, Malbor Castle is the largest castle in the world measured by land area, four times larger than the Windsor Castle. The Teutonic Knights named it Marienburg in honor of Mary, mother of Jesus. The castle is a classic example of a medieval fortress and after its completion in 1406 housed approximately 3000 brothers in arms. Knights had no separate rooms, they slept in common spaces with no heating. That's why they always had some clothes and boots on them to be ready for a fight and to be warm. They spent their free time listening to music, eating and chatting in the high castle area. During the governance, the Teutonic Knights collected river tolls from passing ships, as did other castles along the rivers. They controlled a monopoly on the trade of amber. While meat, bread and vegetables were the main food, most common medieval drinks were alcoholic. Beer or wine were less prone to putrefaction, so much much safer to drink. It was quite an honorable and easy job to be a knight at these times, except the war periods. Many crusades were held spreading Christianity across the Europe in the medieval period. In 3009 the fortress was built up more when headquarters moved here from Dansk. Later, it served as one of the several Polish royal residences, fulfilling this function for over 300 years, over twice as long as it was the headquarters of the Teutonic Order. Great Refectory was the most resplendent and large Gothic interior in all of Central Europe. Winter Refectory even had underground heating. It's a pity that these halls feel very empty now. Church is the most impressive place of the castle. I'm not a fan of religious interiors, but it has that medieval atmosphere. The castle was several times occupied by Swedish forces, and from 1775 it was under German rule for over 170 years, until 1945. Through the Napoleonic period, the army used the building as a hospital and arsenal. With the rise of Adolf Hitler, Nazis used the castle as a destination for annual pilgrimages. During World War II, more than half of it was destroyed. It's a very long corridor to the main part of the castle, the toilet. In old days, cabbage leaves served in the castle latrines as a kind of toilet paper. Nowadays, you can find toilets in the basement of the middle castle area. I even was lucky and found a strange art gallery with some sexy paintings and some not so very sexy. And for those who are always hungry, there is one restaurant and several places near the castle where you can get some food. 
Also, there are three souvenir shops inside the middle castle area and several stands near the St. Adalbert's Bridge, where you can find some toys for kids and some amber goods. If you made a final decision to visit the castle, please check the video description for some more info. That's all for now.